Look at her, she's spitting nerdy. Look at her, she's spitting nerdy. Can't you see she's spitting nerdy? Look at her, she's spitting nerdy. Good morning to all of you lovely human beings. Today we're talking about a subject that should be no surprise to you because it's what we've been talking about for the last few weeks, and that is reverse dieting. But today I wanted to put in the context of a clean bulk because we've gotten a few questions about what the difference is between a clean bulk and a reverse diet. So I want to talk about what I think the difference is and how I'm kind of actually doing both at the same time. So if you're currently clean bulking to get some booty gains for summer, then this video is for you. Give the video a big thumbs up if you're excited to learn some tips for how to add some mass to that booty. Oh, and if you're down there hitting that thumbs up button, you might as well hit that subscribe button too if you haven't already so that you can follow along this journey and learn more great tips. So in my most humble opinion, there really isn't much of a difference between a reverse diet and a clean bulk slash a lean bulk. For, for the purposes of this video, we're gonna basically call them the same thing because they're basically the same thing. The big difference between the two is the main goal. So with reverse dieting, the main goal is to speed up your metabolism. And with the process that you go through to do that, a byproduct is building muscle. With a clean bulk, the main goal is to put on muscle and a byproduct of the process that you go through is also speed up your metabolism. They're both built around the principles of slowly increasing your calorie intake and staying in a slight surplus while applying heavy resistance training. With both of them, you want your surplus to be as small as possible to maximize muscle gains while minimizing fat gains, though I would say on a clean bulk, there is a little bit more emphasis of less fat gain, whereas a reverse diet, if your main goal is speeding up your metabolism, then honestly gaining a little bit of extra fat is not that bad. And then a clean bulk places more emphasis on maintaining a clean and healthy diet, whereas a reverse diet you can technically eat whatever you want to hit your calories like you can eat only donuts I really don't recommend it but the principles of a clean bulk are that you should stick with a healthier diet to hit your calorie surplus goals and this is in opposition to a dirty bulk where you eat whatever you want and you eat in as much of a surplus as you want and don't care as much about fat gain because you're really just chasing maximum muscle gain but even if you are doing that and don't really care about fat gain it's still probably advisable to maintain as clean of a diet as possible because the healthier your body is, the more muscle building potential it has. So if your goal is to put on muscle and you don't care as much about the fat gain because you just want to pack on as much mass as possible, I do still recommend doing a clean bulk, but like a less cautious clean bulk where you're in a bigger surplus but still eating relatively healthier foods. I've been referring to this process that I'm going through as a reverse diet mostly because that's kind of what most people need to do, but I do have a lot of more clean bulking oriented goals such as, you know, building the booty, getting some hamstrings. I have no hamstrings and it's killing me. I want to build some hamstrings. I also would love to add more muscle definition to my back and just generally add more muscle overall. But all of this talk about bulking is making me hungry. I'm going to make my little post-workout adaptogenic latte and then I'm going to make breakfast and I actually just did a huge like Thrive Market haul to get a lot of my staples that I've been using that I recently ran out of while I've been going through this process. So I will show you all that in a second, but I'm going to make my latte first because I just, I need to get something in me. For my adaptogenic latte, I just used a little bit of almond milk from Milk Organics, about a tablespoon and a half of cacao powder, some creatine and some collagen, which I will talk about in just a second. My adaptogen of choice today was maca and then I threw in a little bit of coconut and monk fruit for sweetener. But anyway, enough about adaptogenic lattes because I talk about these way too much. Time to go through my clean bulking staple pantry items that I got. On a normal day, I would be stoked to show you guys all of these things because they're things that I use regularly and absolutely love and want you all to like discover and partake in. But today is an even better day because you guys know that I've been using Thrive Market for probably about two years now and I absolutely love it. It's my go-to place to get all of the like fancier food things that I eat. And basically since I started my channel, I've been trying to like drop hints to them to get them to notice me. They finally noticed me. So I'm super excited to say that this video is indeed in partnership with Thrive Market, which means I get to give you guys an even better discount code than I ever could have given you otherwise. But first, let me show you what I got and then I will tell you about how to get it at an extremely discounted price compared to what you would get in stores. First, let me tell you about the collagen that I just put into my adaptogenic latte. This is one of my top two favorite brands. It's Primal Kitchen. And I'm a big fan of Primal Kitchen in general. I love basically all of their products that I've ever tried. Their ingredients are always 
amazing and it's really good quality. And so this one and Vital Proteins are my go-tos for collagen. And I've been using collagen a lot lately just because, you know, I make my adaptogenic lattes. It's nice to spice it up with something extra that's healthy. And it's a really easy way to just add in an extra 10 grams of protein. Speaking of protein, I got some more Epic Bars. These are the, the venison salt and pepper bars. So they're literally just like meat bars. I'm honestly not a person that really likes meat. So I personally find it kind of challenging to hit the amount of protein that I'm trying to hit, especially on this bulk. I increase my protein intake by about 20 or 30 grams. I'm aiming for around 100 grams of protein per day now. And so having something like this around when it's a day where I'm struggling to get in my protein or I know I'm like going to go out for dinner and not have access to high quality protein, having this around is a super convenient way to just have a high quality protein snack that gets you your extra protein and fuels those booty gains. Since the Epic brand is high quality, it can get pretty pricey. Hence why I get stuff like this on Thrive Market so I can get a discount. Okay, adaptogenic latte break, hang on. And for the last protein related item, I decided to get just a little bit more of my lentil pasta. This is the Sybil's free to eat brand and the ingredients are the best that I've seen in basically any other brand of non like normal pasta. It's literally just red lentils, beets, carrots, and sweet potato. And the macros for this one are working perfectly for me right now because it has quite a bit of protein. It has 14 grams of protein per serving, but also has 36 grams of carbs per serving. Now when I'm cutting, I prefer to have a higher protein to carb ratio, but since I struggle to get enough carbs in, like I'm eating 250 grams of carbs now, which is not what I'm used to. Having something that has protein but also is high carb is super useful for me. And then speaking of carbs, I know I said I like to get my fancier foods on Thrive, but I also like to get my pantry staples on Thrive. I buy everything I can on Thrive when I can. Having a bag of white rice around while I've been doing this clean bulk has been absolutely key for me. I've basically been switching back and forth between getting my carbs from sweet potato and getting my carbs from white rice. I'll be the first to admit that this is not the most nutrient dense food, but you try getting 250 grams of carbs from kale. Like you just can't do you that. You have to add in some easy to digest carbs and white rice is a great neutral food. It doesn't have a whole ton of nutrients in it, but it also really doesn't have any drawbacks as long as you aren't like super insulin resistant and white rice spikes your blood sugar, in which case probably not the best idea. But for everyone else, if you have a healthy like blood sugar level, this will be your best friend when you're trying to bulk. In my last video, I talked about some tips and tricks that I had discovered to help me be able to eat more because eating constantly in a surplus can be a little bit of a struggle. I talked about digestive enzymes and I was running out so I restocked on the Thrive brand digestive enzymes. All the stuff that's like Thrive brand on Thrive Market is even cheaper which is great. And then I also got some stuff that just makes hitting calories easier if there's a day where like you just don't want to eat another sweet potato but you need more count. I got some Good Bites raw chocolate truffles and these are so good and they're also extremely calorie dense. One truffle is 100 calories. So if there's a day where I've just eaten and I am full and I'm 100 calories under or 200 calories under, I can just pop one or two of these in my mouth, enjoy the heck out of them because they're delicious and hit my calorie goals. And I decided to restock on my Birch Bender's Paleo Pancake Mix for the exact same reason. This is just something with super clean ingredients that's really easy to eat and to get a lot of calories in. I think I might actually make this for breakfast today because it's like 4 o'clock and so I need to get all of my calories in in like a shorter window than normal. So that's going to be particularly helpful. Then I got some chips from Siete in the lime flavor. Same idea, just easy, clean ingredients that pack in extra calories when you really just don't feel like eating more. And then in my opinion, you can't clean bulk without a little bit of healthy chocolate. So I stocked up on my Who Kitchen chocolate as well. Pro tip, I know Who Kitchen is expensive. Get it on Thrive. And then this is a lot less exciting. I just, I also got some avocado oil because I needed avocado oil. Went to get it at Whole Foods the other day didn't realize how expensive it was. So I was like, you know what? I'm putting it in my Thrive order. And that is it for my booty gain boosting clean bulking staples. I am well aware that the prices of a lot of these things are on the higher end. And that is where Thrive Market comes in. Now Thrive Market is kind of like Costco, but for healthy food. It's an online marketplace on a mission to make living healthy, easy, and affordable for everyone. They stock thousands of the best-selling organic and natural products at 25 to 50% off traditional retail price. You heard that, 25 to 50. It's crazy. So if you're like me and you like some of the finer things in life when it comes to food and fitness, like adaptogens and fun pancake mixes, this is key. Like it's no joke a game changer. It's why I've been using it for two years. And the website itself is super easy to use because you can filter by dietary preference. So like paleo, vegan, gluten-free, etc. And you can also filter by qualities such as non-GMO, fair trade certified, BPA free. They also don't only sell food and snacks. They also have vitamins, supplements, 
personal care, like skincare, cleaning supplies, and everything like that, and it's all much more natural than you would find in a traditional store. I genuinely can't recommend Thrive Market enough. Like, I not only love being able to get all my favorite foods, like, discounted, but I also love them as a business. I love what they stand for, and it's generally great. So if you are interested in checking it out, seeing what it's all about, you can go to thrivemarket.com slash fitandnerdy or click the link in the description, and you'll get a 30-day free trial plus 25% off of their already discounted prices. And for every person who signs up, they actually give a membership to low-income families, veterans, and teachers, so you'll be helping them as well. And if you are already a Thrive Market member, I just want to remind you, because I always forget, that you literally get different deals and discounts every single day. So just remember to keep checking back, especially if there's something that you have your eye on. So with that being said, I think it's time to make some pancakes. So here's the deal with the Birch Fenders Paleo Pancake Mix. You can't just use the pancake mix in water, like it suggests. The secret is to add an egg. And then the next secret is if you like chocolate, add a little bit of cacao powder. I add cacao powder to literally everything. Does it ruin anything? It probably might, but I have not experienced that yet. And then last little trick, add a little bit of cinnamon. You can do the cinnamon without the cacao powder, it'll just make it cinnamony. Sometimes I add cinnamon and vanilla to make it more snickerdoodly. It's up to you. Today I'm feeling very chocolatey, so it's just everything's gonna be chocolate. And then I also like to add a little bit less water than they tell you to, just to like, I don't know, make it more pancake consistency rather than runny. I don't know if I'm supposed to do it, but it works. Change of plans, my roommate has a waffle maker. We're making waffles. Oh goodness, that might overfill it. I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Oh my goodness, look at this breakfast. I I cannot wait. It better be cooked all the way because now I can't put it back in the waffle iron. Oh my god. So happy. My current plan for this clean bulk is to do 11 total weeks of bulking where every week I increase my calories by a little bit. The first week I started at 1950 on average and I increased by 100, but for all the remaining weeks I'm gonna be increasing by 50. So right now I'm at 2150. And so by the end of this, I will be at 2500. Then after that, I plan on doing a little cut cycle to shred some fat and reveal the muscle that I built underneath. Now, I do recognize that 11 weeks of bulking is not very long. I'm probably not gonna put on that much muscle, but that being said, I feel like I've put on quite a bit of muscle already. I think that since this is my first time actively putting myself into a surplus for the long term, I'm kind of getting some newbie gains because I've never really done this before and so my body is responding really well and really fast. I have one more week so when this video goes live I will be in my last week of phase one of MAP Split which is the workout program that I'm running from Mind Pump and phase one has been all about building strength and I have been increasing my volume every single workout like it has been phenomenal but i am so excited to go into phase two which is for hypertrophy that's where i expect to get even more gains because that phase is designed for maximum muscle growth rather than just strength so i'll be in that phase for six weeks and then i may try to hang out at 2500 calories for a few weeks just to let my body adjust and adapt and make that really my new maintenance calories before i cut but it'll depend kind of on how i feel but i'm about to go for a walk i am still trying to hit my step goal of 10 to 14,000 steps a day even though cardio and resistance training send opposite signals to the body, it's still really important to stay physically active to keep your body healthy because the healthier you are, the more muscle you're going to build. I know that when some people bulk, they like to think that they should just lift in the gym and spend the rest of the day sedentary so that their body can rest and recover and repair. But if you aren't staying active to stay like physically healthy and maintain like a baseline of health, then you aren't actually gonna build as much muscle and your workouts in the gym won't be as good. You kinda need to find that sweet spot. Obviously, if you're training for a marathon, you're gonna have a really hard time building muscle. How many marathon winners do you see that are like super buff? Shredded, yes very small amount of muscle. So you really don't want to overdo it on the cardio if building muscle is your main goal, but you also should not be scared to move around and be active. And with that being said, I think it's time for me to go on my walk. I've been feeling particularly tired today, and I decided quite a while ago that I was just gonna get Chipotle for dinner. Like, I've been cooking from home pretty much consistently. I've not eaten out much at all since starting this process, and I really like it to be that way. Ideally, that's what I want to do, but I'm just... I am tired, I have stuff to do, I don't have time to cook, it's just, this is what's happening. It's Chipotle. Chipotle is here to save the day. It's 9.30 and it closes at 10 and I just, I don't want to stand up. But the booty gains, 
I need the booty gains. Can't get the booty gains with lifting alone. You gotta fuel the gains. You gotta add in the calories. Gotta eat the protein. Okay, I'm getting myself psyched up. We're gonna, we're gonna make it. Get, gonna, gonna get the food. Get the burrito bowl. It's gonna, gonna be good. Gonna also get the booty. <laughs> I mustered up the energy and the booty gains have been saved. Mostly thanks to the fact that my boyfriend thinks I should always carry cash. And so he snuck a $20 bill into my car and I got there and realized I didn't have my wallet. And so if it weren't for that, would be no Chipotle because they would have closed by the time I had to come back home and go back. So, at boyfriend, thank you. Whether bulking or cutting, Chipotle is always my absolute favorite go-to fast food option. I may or may not have just started catching up on Doctor Who while I was eating, and by catching up, I mean starting from the beginning and then working my way up to present day. I forgot how much I love this show. Like, I'm still on episode one of season one of The Ninth Doctor, and like, it's so good. But it's also not good because now I just want to watch the rest of it and I'm really tired, but I have more work to get done. I definitely not gotten enough sleep the last few nights and according to my little aura ring doohickey, my readiness score has also been lower. So my sleep quality overall just hasn't been as great either, which is not good on a clean bulk because when you're trying to build muscle, you gotta lift heavy in the gym, but you don't actually build the muscle in the gym. When you're lifting heavy, you're breaking down muscle and it's not until you're resting and especially sleeping that the muscle repairs and recovers and grows and builds. So you could do all the work in the gym that you want, but if you aren't giving your body time to repair and recover, you're really not gonna get much out of it. And sleep is absolutely critical for this. So I really need to like get back on the sleep train. I was so good about getting like seven and a half to eight hours a night for the majority of this process so far, but the last few nights I've just been up super late working. So tonight I'm gonna finish this episode of Doctor Who, get like one more hour of work done and then go to bed on time and also eat some chocolate and have some tea in there somewhere. And since it is getting late and I'm getting tired, I think I'm going to leave the video here. So if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up because it really does support me and my channel and I really do appreciate it. Please share this video with your friends and your family and your fitness buddies. Leave a comment down below and let me know who your favorite doctor is if you watch Doctor Who or comment on anything else in this video, but let me know who your favorite doctor is. In the meantime, hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos, hit the notification button so you get notified about those videos, and I'll see you very soon. Bye.